What is up you guys, Ben German here with another video and as you can see our queen is going to level 12 finally. Today has been just horrible recording wise, everything is going down the toilet but let's forget about that for a second and focus on this incredible video I had for you guys. Everything has just been so horrible but it won't happen again, I uploaded late today but we're, not, we're gonna make sure that doesn't happen again so let's get right into one of our replays, we're going to be showing three replays and ending this video with a base build. So stay tuned for that. It's a really good base and I really suggest it for all the Taha 9s out there. So we're going to start off the video with the first replay. It's going to be from our last war that we were just in. And it's going to start off with a go wee wipe. Looks pretty standard to me. Nothing special or not. Well, it is special because, you know, it's a pretty good composition, but nothing out of the ordinary so we're gonna wait for this guy to actually put down his troops and it's gonna be a while so we're gonna speed it up a little bit because we're getting impatient with this and he's finally gonna drop his golems at the top right there by the mine and the elixir collector both of them together never a good idea to bunch up your golems guys never do that let this be a lesson to you guys never ever 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 in your right state of mind put two golems together you got to separate them so they can tank and right now you're going to see that these wizards on the left and right are just going to get demolished by those archer well this archer tower right here is locked down on the golem but that wizard tower is not paying attention to a golem so it's going to take out those wizards and this cannon right here is going to be focusing on those wizards on the right side so those are going to go down fairly quickly and he's going to drop down a race spell and a jump spell which could have been placed better if it would have touched that wall right there he would have been able to get over that and that's going to play a factor in the raid later on he didn't place his Barb King and Arch Queen fast, so you know, they went to the side, they're not gonna go in. He didn't create a good funnel, so they're not gonna go to the middle. He used his Arch Queen's ability real quick. I don't know if it was by accident or if he was just a stupid attacker and was like, oh let's do this, you know, everything's going to the, everything's just going bad right now. Let's use our Arch Queen's ability, but I think it was by accident. The queen is still uh, the queen. The dragon in our CC is still up and alive, gonna melt through that Pekka who was going for that Archer Queen, did not focus on the town hall. At the at the up at the up <laughs> at the top of our screen, we're going to be seeing the witches and the barb king working on this wall. Archer queen will be working on the drag before it gets melted by that drag. If it had its ability, it could have actually took out that drag. It's going to ruin the rest of this raid. Doesn't look like he was even going to go anywhere, so it really doesn't matter. The drag's going to melt through this barb king, and then after the barb king is going to focus on these witches skeletons. And once the skeletons are gone, the witch is going to go down right about now right about now <laughs> and there it goes not a good day recording or commentating wise 36 percent defense for us against this attacker from gets Bekate or gets Bekate. still not sure how to pronounce her name here comes the second defense well the second replay we're gonna be showing actually spreads out this golems pretty well here let's see if his wall breakers do a good job of breaking through this wall we're gonna see his wall breakers in the middle that are actually gonna get through this wall and since he didn't open other compartments that's where this raid went wrong because his golems are gonna bunch up in the middle due to him not being able to open the other compartment so his golems get in there he does a good job of healing his golems but yeah they're gonna go around gonna go for a spin gonna go away from the heal spell the pekkas are also going everything's going away from the heal spell the heal spell is kinda just getting those golems right there just barely and he's gonna drop a race spell to try to get everything in the sand and giant bombs gonna take out some of the wizards maybe I'm not sure I didn't even see that good uh, barb king and everything jump into the center again not that good of a place to jump spell Kill spell kind of just randomly put there. Golem's gonna be healed up fairly nicely, but other than that, I don't see the point of that heal spell. Everything's gonna get over or through this wall because you know the jump spell wasn't working out. And it looks like he just has his Arch Queen up there that's gonna just go down. And as you can see, the golems are in the middle tanking for absolutely nothing. Archer dropped at the top is gonna get through one of the mines, but nothing else because the mortar is gonna be shooting at it. Shooting at it. And the golems are going to actually get through this wall and maybe get that air defense out for another percentage. But 14% seems like a long shot for this guy to pick up the 2 star. Archer there goes down to the mortar like I said before. He dropped another one. He's going to have 2 more archers left. Golems are going to get through this. I don't know how the golems got through this wall. Um, is there something else there? No, it's just the golem. He's going to absolutely tear through that wall. And we're going to see the archers at the bottom go ghost mode. Just got annihilated by that cannon and that archer and it looks like he only has two archers left in his composition one is going to go on this army camp the other one's going to go down with it for some strange reason maybe to distract i'm not sure this golemite is not going to get through this air sweeper and this attack is going to end in a 39 percent one star defense in my book 
So the third person in the final replay we're gonna be showing is gonna be coming from their level from their level from their number six from their clan. Two golems going down and it looks like he's gonna be doing a strategic hog attack where he takes out the queen, but it seems pretty far from the queen. He should have gone to the left side if he was trying to get rid of the queen, because that's essential in these hog attacks to destroy the queen and the clan castle, which are super dangerous to hogs because hogs can do nothing to them. The only aside from only attacking defenses, they can't attack air units like dragons and a balloon or whatever is in there so he's gonna drop a race pool to get these wizards going and the wizards by themselves at the bottom looking max and as sexy as ever are gonna take out the town hall at the top he dropped the heal spell for the hogs that he sent in the arch queen is in the side not being able to get a shield from the barb king which the barb king usually tanks for the queen in these situations where they send the heroes after they deploy the rest of the units and these wizards are gonna get through this air defense and they're gonna try to go through this art they're gonna get the clan castle actually they're gonna try to get the expo but it looks like they're gonna get the wizards down just in time only three percent for the archer queen to get she's gonna be targeting the mortar and the mortar is gonna go down for 48 percent with this dark spell factory give the attacker 50 percent and it looks like it's not gonna be 50 percent only 49 percent was achieved one star defense for ben german and star chamber so now we're going to see all the defenses for this base in this one and only award. The first two of my name highlighted were attacks. And the first defense is going to be for one star against Rambo. The second one is going to be against Maya, our equal for one star also. The third one's coming up shortly. And there it is for another star. Fourth one coming up. And it's going to be an actual defense in the Clash of Clans book. Fifth one and sixth one are one star defenses and the seventh and eighth ones are going to be actual defenses in the Clash of Clans book before we get two star by their number 10. So now with that being said here comes the base build as promised for this amazing war base that gave me the eight defenses you just saw.